Angwa's nimni mata sunriri for Papocha willa be. I'm sick of being cooped up on starships, Zoru. I want to run around and shoot things for a while. Biz gamayo kojedwanti. Noa hauyat ya chavopa. I'll be sure to call Rogan sometime. Tell him I said hello. Chut chut. Pochako la chano gando do waletapa. Biz gamayo kojedwanti. Noa hauyat ya chavopa. How much would it cost for you to forget you ever saw me? Ya power kulka cha kichawa jotoke wanga choska. Oto no avati konai tuta od miskapunda. Sorry, I only travel first class. Jotopa, slimo gusha skorni. Jo ping wampa lahagwa. Jekoska from Pasadobiska. But I'm glad you didn't. This is the best feeling. A sky full of stars, a new planet waiting across the galaxy, never gets old. Why do you think I never settled down? There's something about cities. All that plasteel and concrete. Weighs too much to ever feel free. When I came back to Ord Mantell, I thought that was the end for me. Thanks for giving me a way off. <laughs> Everything on Coruscant is huge. You see those city towers as we flew in? How many people you figure live in those? Millions? Looks like some of the city towers lost a few levels. Heard the Sith Empire hit this planet pretty hard. Even knocked the Jedi Temple off its pedestal. Want to find Skalvik before we're too old to shoot straight? We're gonna need local help. Got someone particular in mind? I happen to know the perfect guy. There's a gambler named Darmus Polarin who keeps tabs on everything worth knowing about Coruscant. Good man. You'll like him. What else do you know? Vidu called him an information broker. When Darmus isn't playing Sabak, he buys and sells the kind of answers we need. I still have Vidu's hollow frequency contacts, and Darmus is one of them. Give me a second, and we'll talk to the man himself. Corso, is that you? It's been too long, you rascal. What brings you to Coruscant? A friend and I are in a real bind. Is there a place we can meet you? Of course. Come to my private cantina booth. I'm here now, winning my temp hand of Sabak against a very persistent Rodia. Hope you don't mind the occasional blaster fire. The cantina is in a rowdy part of Coruscant. Sounds like my kind of place. I hope that's only the first of many affinities we share. Keep your comlink channel open, Darmus. I've got some bad news about Vidu. I'll bring Darmus up to speed while we travel, Captain. Don't tell Darmus anything he doesn't need to know. You got it.
Forgive me for being so forward, but you're more radiant than a Tatooine sunset. Darmus Potheran, at your service. You're even better looking in person, Darmus. Come on, Captain. Isn't he a little old for you? Don't listen to the boy. Feel free to compliment me anytime. Sorry to hear about Vidu. He was a man of refined taste and a terrible card player. I'll truly miss him. Life is like Sabak. The trick is to quit while you're ahead and enjoy your winnings. Exactly how I'll spend my twilight years. I'll still be flying around this galaxy a hundred years from now. <laughs> I like your spirit, Captain. Sometimes I think I'm already too old for this business. Now, I know this isn't a social call. Corso says you have troubles, and I'm prepared to help. I want payback on a man named Skavik. Yes, Corso was equally emphatic about that. Having met Skavik, I understand completely. Skavik is well known in the galactic underworld. He's earned death sentences across the galaxy for everything from armed robbery to kidnapping. He's known to be in the Sith Empire's pocket, and he even cheats at cards. I'm happy to help you find him. If there's one thing I hate, it's a card cheat. Oh my. Beauty, intelligence, and fine moral values. What's not to like about that combination? Soon as Corso mentioned Skavik's name, I alerted all my best informants. I'm getting some interesting leads. What did I tell you, Captain? Darmus can find out anything. We'll have Skavik in no time. How much do you want for your information, Darmus? This information is free of charge, my dear. I would never consider extorting credits from a beautiful woman in distress. Skavik recently used the services of a data slicer named Kixie in the Migrant Merchants Guild headquarters. Quite talented, I hear. I'll say this. The man has a way with women. I don't think it's a romantic relationship. Skavik doesn't convert with aliens. Even near humans like Kixie. Kixie might be able to help you flush Skavik out of hiding. Be careful, though. The guild is well-armed and doesn't like outsiders. Excuse me, darling, but there's a Chagrian with more credits than cents. I really shouldn't let him leave with all his money. So, how about that war, huh, Captain? You think the Republic will stop hiding behind the Treaty of Coruscant and admit they want the Empire wiped out? It doesn't sit right negotiating with people who want every man, woman, and kid dead. You practicing your speech for office? You trying to tell me you don't think about it? I do. I joined the Peace Brigade when I was 14. I know what a world looks like when the Empire's done with it. What's that? A bunch of do-gooders? The Brigade's a relief organization. Go into worlds abandoned by the Treaty of Corson. Help people displaced by the Empire. I was a kid looking for an adventure. After two months, let's just say there are no kids in war zones. Kixie better be worth all this extra trouble. There's bound to be somebody around here with a clearance pass. You ready for some more action, Captain? Open up, you stupid door!